Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke, and today we're gonna discuss the one final video for our choosing your duration of a workout, and that is, you know, a non-standard time. I, we've already talked about eight-week programs, and we talked about six-week programs, and we talked about four-week programs, but what if you want something different? When would I choose something different? And the answer is not never. So let's go into it. And this one, this one's gonna be quick, because it's difficult to implement, but it's easy to kind of explain. So we can we can do that pretty quickly. I, you know, if you're just in the gym looking to get fitter, uh, you're going to write a very predictable four or six or eight week program that that's just, you know, maybe a three week program, but that's just what you're going to get probably. Um, when I would change that is if you are somebody who is specifically training for some sort of event, maybe you're training, you know, the most common example for my general population clients who have real jobs is somebody wants to run a marathon and they need to prepare for it. And so as I get closer and closer to that day, I need to think about how much time I have left. And so in general, we... You know, previously we've talked about periodization and we've talked about intensity and raising the intensity. And we've talked about volume and accumulating volume. Um, I typically want to end my my last hard training block with an intensification training block. I want it to be heavier and faster in the gym so that you have the you know the most well prepared central nervous system that you can and then before your actual event i need to make sure that you rest and you recover so that's all part of this we're going to maybe say okay let's write a five week program for this person let's uh peak really hard for you know three weeks let's take uh one week kind of easy, but still kind of heavy. And then let's take one week almost totally off to allow the body to recover so that you're ready for the event that you're about to compete in. And now I, you know, I've used my marathons, not microphones, marathons, microphones, what's in front of me, uh, marathons as an example of this, but it works well for powerlifting meets. It works well for Olympic lifting meets. It works well for Spartan races. It works well if you just have an arm wrestling weekend with your friends or something, you know, anything that you could possibly need. You probably need to train really hard leading up to it, but then rest and recover on purpose before the actual event. And and so the, the rule here, if I have a non-standard duration of a, a workout program, a training program, I, I want to take the date that I am competing and then I just want to work backwards. So I want, you know, I mentioned it already. I want one week off and then I want one week kind of heavy, but starting to taper back down. And then I want, and you know, we're working backwards, right? So uh, competition one week off and then one week kind of heavy but working back down and then maybe a couple weeks of something a little bit more challenging leading up to that so that's when i would i would start to do a less standard training program duration i just i take the date of the event and then work backwards